Yeah. What's poppin' YouTube? It's Kings out with another Just Different video for my Just Different people. I want to talk about tips and tricks on building a relationship with self, right? Because as black people, or as a black person, I guess, black men, I feel like it's a lot of things that we, like, I've been having to figure out, you know what I'm saying, for myself firsthand, for the first time, they're like, people before me had to go through so like we should talk about these things um a relationship with self the older i get the more that i realize that like the sayings that people give you like love yourself or nobody else will or take care of yourself or you know what i'm saying take care of yourself before you try to take care of others like the older i'm getting the more experience i gain in life i'm starting to be able to see firsthand the truth behind these sayings and like what they were really trying to get you to understand um okay so because okay so with the reason and dealing with dealing with building a relationship with yourself the first tip and trick that i would tell you to do or to think about be conscious and aware of is to be honest with yourself about to be honest with yourself about your your upbringing, your past, your childhood, you know what I'm saying, your your family, your at home life from when you were a child, um, really from the ages of, of zero to about five to like seven, I want to say like zero to like seven or eight, and really even past that. But let's just say like like let's be focused on that for right now because that's where most of the like subconscious thing can come from. That's where like most of your your thought patterns that you have now. That's where they come from. So. When I say be honest with yourself about your past and about your childhood, I'm saying to try to step back, try to because we talking about the relationship with yourself, right? So that's giving you when I say self, that means there has to be two of you, right? Relationship with self. So we talking about basically your soul and like your ego, right? Because your soul is everlasting, your soul never dies, is always living or whatever. But your soul got put into the flesh. It got put into the vessel. And so the soul starts to believe things to be true that are not true. The soul starts to, to take on the form of, of your ego, of whoever you think that you truly are. And so that's where that's why I'm saying be honest with yourself about your childhood and your past. Um, because everybody is going to have to have a different a different relationship with their self be, all, based off of their past and their, um, their childhood. I had a childhood where I felt like I was judged a lot. I felt like I was always trying to prove myself. I felt like I had to to overcome. So as an adult, when when things don't go my way, say I make a mistake, I constantly I'm, I'm judgmental to myself because that's the that's the outside perception that I had of myself is that like I don't do things right. I don't you know what I'm saying. So. Whenever something go wrong, I'm on my ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, do better, nigga. You suck, nigga. Work harder, yada, yada. You already know. But somebody could have the different perspective of that they were perfect, right? That they all, that they never made mistakes. And so when they do make a mistake, they can't they can't face that they really made a mistake. They just gonna tell themselves that like, yeah, I actually did, right? You know what I'm saying? I actually I actually did the correct thing. Like nothing that I did was wrong. So I'm saying that those examples to say that like that's just two examples of like how you can have a different relationship with yourself so my relationship with self is that i have to be more gentle with myself i have to be more aware that like okay zai you're human you know what i'm saying you make mistakes you mess up and it's okay to mess up just do what you can to, you know what i'm saying do better next time and take it easier on yourself but the person that grew up with the with the foundation of that i'm perfect that i can do every and all things they may need to be a little bit more critical of themselves. Maybe they need to make themselves work harder. You know what I'm saying? It's all about your. You have to be honest with yourself about your past, about your past and where you come from and how it shaped you to be who you are. The second thing is to forgive yourself for mistakes, especially for things that you didn't know any better. Like when you didn't know any better. Um, when it comes to life, bro, we really you only, you learn through experience. So. When I say to be like, to be, um, to forgive yourself, a lot of times, bro, somebody will make a mistake somewhere in their like adolescence and their teenage years, or you know what I'm saying, they young, they, their early 20s or whatever, and they'll hold on to it for the rest of their life. 
and just really just be, you know what I'm saying, down on themselves. And really, this where like the self hate come from or like self loathing, you know what I'm saying? You just kind of, you against yourself, but you with you all day, you know what I'm saying? And you know that when you when you did that with that that initial action, you know what I'm saying? When you when you took that step and did whatever you did, like you didn't have all of the answers figured out, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have all the information that you needed to make a better decision, but even though, I mean, you didn't have all the information that you need to make a better decision, so you made a decision with what you had. You made the decision, it didn't really work out how you wanted it to work out, you know what I'm saying? Shit went left, shit went bad, and so now you constantly like upset at yourself. You gotta be able to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you make and not really look at them as mistakes, but look at them as a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Just be thankful that you that you had the opportunity to be able to, to do something wrong and then come back and do it right. Now, yeah, with, so just build that relationship with yourself to be able to understand like when you being too hard on yourself and when you being too nice on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, to discern. Do I need to get work done today or have I been burning myself out and I should take a nap? You know what I'm saying? This is relationship with self. Love yourself enough to be able to tell yourself, you being lazy, bitch, get up and do something. But also be uh, love yourself enough to be able to say, like, man, you've been working hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. Talk to yourself. Like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of hard work that you've been doing. Like, we deserve some fun. We deserve relaxation. Let's take a break. Like, you got to be able to have both sides of the coin. So that's that's the tips that I and tricks that, like, I want to just leave for today i have more but i want to work on doing shorter videos because i feel like y'all i i be kind of losing y'all with these long videos so i'm gonna leave y'all with just those two tips for right now be honest with yourself about your past and about your childhood how did the people around you look at you and perceive you and what is, what images did they put on you because now subconsciously and even consciously, you carry those thoughts around. And people always told you you weren't good enough, you weren't gonna be good enough. You always carrying that around on your sleeve. So be nicer to yourself about that. You understand that that's who you are. Maybe somebody told you that everything was, you know what I'm saying, everything was gravy for you, you know what I'm saying? Be harder on yourself, make yourself work harder. Maybe, I don't know, um, let me not give you too many more examples. Forgive yourself for mistakes, forgive yourself for the, um, for the mistakes that you made when you didn't have the wisdom and the knowledge that you have now. You made those mistakes so you could be standing and sitting where you are now. Now you got all this information. Now you got all this knowledge. So now next time that situation arises or some version of that situation arises, you got it because you literally, you you have mastered yourself. That's what it's all about. Master self. You don't, you don't stress about the situation. You don't stress about how things played out you just do what you can you be better you be a better you this time you dig what i'm saying last time you feel like you ain't you ain't you know what i'm saying you drop the ball you ain't do exactly what you're going to do so next time the situation come to you you don't get held up on the situation you pay attention to what you are capable of you know what you did last time you know what i'm saying you feel like you gave you let's say out of a scale of 10 nigga you gave a five nigga this time you don't go automatically from five to ten bro this next time we've given seven you know what i'm saying you just do better you don't get caught up on the small shit like yeah no i could be i could be the best you can be but you it take time to get the, to be the best you dig what i'm saying but that's all i got for you today brothers and sisters i love you all i love you all thank you so much um, for watching if you made it all the way to the end please like comment and subscribe hit that little notification bell so you know when a young nigga dropping you dig what i'm saying i love you kings and queens guys and goddesses brothers and sisters stay up don't fall down if you do get back up hey